Hi, my name is Miko Lazic and I'm the founder of Moonlighting Industries. I'm going to show you the basics of Moon Smart Focus. This is the brain. And this is the eyes. And I have mounted everything like this. The brain is in the back of the camera on my setup. And I've mounted the eyes here. And I'm using a tilt -a motor, but you can use any motor uh, and any follow focus system. So this is a small setup just to show how some basic features in Moon Smart Focus is working. Uh, so, for example, when you use the Tilta motor, you have to map, have to map all the points uh, on the lens. So you have to go here to the mapping function, and then you change the lens to position. For example. like 0.30 centimeters and then you go to this and you add the coordinate and then you get this coordinate for the motor and then you just put in the value uh, 30 centimeters like this and then you go for the next value and that is 31 and you just add that add coordinate and then you have a 31 like this and then you can have a name for that file so you can save all your lenses lens data in in the moon smart focus app so i uh, already mapped this lens size cp 35 millimeter so you can uh, if i load it you can see that i have lots of all the points uh, on the lens You get the curve like this to see how it looks. So then you go here and you select the lens that you just mapped. And here is my lens, but you can actually have many lenses here and just select the one you want. And I have also um, uh, activated focus ramping you don't have to use that but i use it all the time so and now if i i'm in person mode i can just select myself and push auto and it's auto focusing now and it's going to keep track of me all the time because i selected myself so even if there are more persons here it will still keep tracking me then and not the other ones okay so now I'm losing myself because I'm not in the mirror so it's like this so uh, as I showed you before I had focus ramping on uh, so if I just select another person it's going to ramp over to that face and ramp back to mine you can also have a uh, nearest person instead of uh, like selecting like this you can have this and um, you can just toggle between the persons uh, like this as you can see it's jumping a, a lot because i'm in the mirror but now i'm more in the middle of the mirror it looks for can see me so this is something that lots of focus pullers are using the they just go nearest person, A, or B, or C, and then they get this value to their follow focus unit. And uh, if you don't want to use, let's show this. If you don't want to use uh, nearest person or person, you can also use point. So when you use point, you get this frame that you can just do whatever you want with. 
like this and you can save that frame and the nearest point in that frame is going to be thing that is going to be in focus so if I do like this then my face is in focus or I just go over to that item the other face and it's pulling the focus to that and then it's going over to that one and that one so you can actually just use this as a normal I don't know DSLR kind of thing uh, or it's like more like a UDM and you can do this very small and save it and you can actually have more of these and you can save point two and three so you can have three of these like this and you can just select all of them and the one that is in green here is the one that is sending data to the motor so you can just pick that one and it ramps over to that a little racks over to that and then you can pick the one here and it racks over to that and you can pick this one and it racks over that one and if you just want to go to person you can go to person and it racks to the person instead and we also have object mode you can just pick any pixel like this and then, then go and it's also racking over uh, focus ramping like this so you can just pick the pixel and it's ramping over to that one this one and if you want to have a faster focus ramping you can actually have these values uh, in settings uh, I just wrote two here and then for a slow one medium 5 fast ramping speed 15 you can try this dif different settings uh, so this is what I the speeds that I like so if I want to do it fast I can just go to fast or in person fast like this and just change slow again and go over to that or I use point and I go like this so it's quite easy to use this uh, interface and you can have this iPhone anywhere on the camera but I prefer to have it here and I almost uh, only ne uh, use nearest person and point. And uh, a, f a nice thing that you can do with that is that you can actually have a point like this. And then you can assign uh, the rec button on the tilta. Uh, so it's actually jumping between nearest person or point so it's toggling between those so if i if i just if i push this it's going to toggle between point and nearest person so if you look like this it's toggling just by pushing this button so you don't have to mess with the iphone you can just push this and it's quite it's quicker to do it like this. So I, I work when I work uh, alone with the camera, I always use this. And it, you can also change this.
toggle thing uh, so you can actually go between auto focus and manual focus also instead the, the rec button is now uh, toggling between auto focus and manual focus so so now it's manual I can just change the focus with the wheel and you can see the the triangle for the focus wheel is changing also so if I have an object here like this face and it's looking for that I can just go there and I can also focus um, zoom this or zoom out so now I can see the triangle is on the other one it's now it's in focus so and the other face is the second triangle I can go there like this so doing it manually